going to tell, we're really going to talk about why entrepreneurship is not for everybody. Why so many people just, I mean, seriously, they cannot cut it at the end of the day. They don't have what it takes. So do you have any questions for me or do you want to want to just kick it off? My first question for you as mm -hmm. an entrepreneur, right? Mm -hmm. When you first started out, what was mm -hmm. something that you started doing that you realized wasn't the right step to take? I think that's a very, very good question because <sighs> we, we, we have some people on that are probably venturing into entrepreneurship. They're excited, they're passionate, and we want to make sure that they don't make the, the wrong mistakes. So what was something that you can quickly just point out that you did and you were like, you know what? That was not the best. That to was do. not smart. There were two things. There were two things. I started selling. Ah. I had no idea what the hell I was selling. I was like, hey, I'm here, buy me. Right? Like there that might work for some people. That was not, but I wasn't selling what those people were buying. So that wasn't really a smart way to go, right? I started selling right away, but I really didn't know what my focus was. So that wasn't good. And um, so that was my first mistake. And then mm -hmm. since I was so bad at selling because I was so so bad at selling, um, I paid other people to sell for me. Only to find out that after forty thousand dollars that I had spent out of my own hard-earned pocket. Wow, that's an expensive yeah, lesson. <laughs> that's an expensive ass lesson. Um, only to find out that uh, they couldn't sell for me either. Not because they were bad at selling, because we didn't know what the hell we were selling. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so you didn't know what you were selling. So you really, really couldn't believe in the product. So that's important, right? That I so, didn't care. right. I didn't so, have product for them to believe in. So believing in what you're selling and, and what you, type of service you're providing is important. Exactly. Um, and it's exactly. funny because that's something that I actually learned too along the way because I started off in sales and, right. and I didn't really believe in what I was pitching to everybody else. And that really showed in my performance and not only that, my, my financial uh, statements. Uh, so I, so, <laughs> Your bank account, those, uh, so, what do they call those? Those um, overdraft fees? <laughs> yeah, overdraft fees. Yeah, 10, <laughs> 1099s weren't looking too good. You, you're making Bank of America rich. They liked you <laughs> so, as a customer. <laughs> so, let me, so let me ask you this, because entrepreneurship is something that I think people have a very, very big, very big misconception about. They yep. look at it as it's this, it's this sexy, appealing thing. They see the private it's jets sexy. and it's hot. the fancy cars Ooh, and all these things. Mm. They think, oh, you know what? I'm going to become an entrepreneur. I'm just going to quit my job. I'm Boom. just going to start making all this money. Boom. It's going to be happening. Two week notice. I'm flossing. Blink out. That's yeah. it. They trying to get way. that unemployment check. That's right. So, they trying so to get fired. <laughs> tell somebody one of the biggest things that you've learned on your journey as an entrepreneur that you see commercialized so much now. Oh, my God. What I love, and I see them slide across all the time. I see them slide across all the time on my Facebook posts and my, on my Facebook pages. I'm an entrepreneur. So, of course, I see these guys. They come selling to me all the time. They're like, you're going to make $200,000 off your first client yesterday. <laughs> like, for real, dude, you're going to come in. You're going to come to my class. You go come to my class, like, I don't even, you know what, if you sign up right now and go check your bank account, it's going to be 200000 It's already there. Waiting it's to already get there. there. The first lie that they tell you, the very first lie that they tell you is quick, fast, dirty, easy, in a hurry. Boom, you in. And I'm like, nah, it's, it's really not. I'm like, seriously? Exactly. So, if, I mean, if I, if I, look, if I could walk down the street and people want to throw a couple hundred thousand dollars at me, I'm not going to stop them. I'm just saying, I haven't seen it done yet. <laughs> right, right. So, so one of the things, being an entrepreneur, right, that we mm -hmm. want to just kill right away is yep. that you cannot and absolutely cannot have the mindset of instant gratification because that's, no. what, I, that's what I'm hearing. You can't just come in and think you're going to be <laughs> instantly rewarded being an entrepreneur, it's not happening. Yeah. It's my not favorite, happening. My favorite is people like, well, Donna, you could do it because you're rich and it's easy. I went rich when I was living in my car. <laughs> like, right. That was, th those weren't the rich years. Those, those weren't the rich years. Those were not years. the rich years. But, but this is what people don't want to talk about, right? No. I mean, most people don't want to talk about this. Most people want to say, okay, how, I'm, I'm going to teach you how to go zero to 60 Within 60 days, I'm going to show you how to be a millionaire or, or make six right. figures. And right. I'm not saying it doesn't happen, 
but that is not <laughs> the norm. You're not and saying think, it doesn't happen here. I'm gonna say it, it doesn't happen. Like <laughs> well, no, no, no. I'm lying. It does happen. It does happen. If your rich uncle died, I knew you were going there. The I knew you were going there. <laughs> or you done spent like you done spent all your money on scratch outs. Like you done lied right. your ass up. <laughs> That's what you have done. Right. But but then for, it can happen. For, but for the rest of us who don't have that rich uncle that died, who didn't lotto it up, for the rest of us, it actually you actually have to do the work. It's not quick, dirty, in a hurry, get rich quick scheme. And somebody's gonna stand there and they're just gonna lay out everything in one eight hour workshop and you're gonna walk away and you're gonna have everything that you need to go and start a business right then. You might get great amounts of knowledge if they have a methodology and a blueprint, mm -hmm. but if they don't have a methodology and a blueprint, you are going to get some nuggets. Okay. All and right. nuggets, nuggets don't make a meal because even after McDonald's, you go there, you get some nuggets, you're pretty hungry afterwards. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> That's because the nuggets ain't real, y'all. <laughs> They're not. They're not. Okay, so, so that's one thing we got out of the way, right? Yep, so yep. if you're considering being an entrepreneur, you want to venture into that part of, your, or of the entrepreneurial space. Mm -hmm. If you have the mindset of instant gratification, entrepreneurship is not for you. That yeah. mindset you need to get, you need to get a job. You need to get a job. You, no, no, no. You need they, to get a, or they can just get a job. Yeah. Or, or you yeah. can just get a job. Yeah. Get a job. There's, not, yeah. there's nothing yeah. wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with having entre a job. I got people working for me. Right. Entrepreneurship, <laughs> instant gratification, it's not going to work. So no. what would you say is an another thing? That. Oh, um, my my favorite. This is this is my second favorite. It is. Well, what I want you to what I want to do, Don, is I want to spend, you know, the next six months just talking to you every single solitary day. But I actually don't want to put any money in my business. Like I don't want to make an investment because if I make an investment, if if you believe in me and my product so much, then you should make the investment in me. I'm making an investment in you, but you but you ain't gonna make an investment in yourself. How does that work? I am investing in you when I give you my time. Now right. I will tell you, there are clients that have come on board that they'll tell you right now, they can pick up a phone call me anytime they want. Why? Because not only did they invest in themselves, they invest the time, they continue to do the work, and I'm like I just want to see you win. Like my, my friend David Newman, I saw him come on and David is the same way. He's like, when we get those people that are like, they come, they come to you and they are so hell bent on winning. You just keep wanting to work with them. Right. Right. It, right. Okay. It goes beyond that. You want to work with them. Like, look, you went through the Academy. Let's keep going. <laughs> you know? Right. So, all right, we got two things. So you can't mm -hmm. have a mindset. They don't want to make an investment. Right. And then right. you got to put some skin in the game. I mean, entrepreneurship, right. you have to put, man, I'm skinned. You got to put your whole body in the game. <laughs> you have to. You have yeah, you to gotta bring some people to... along with you, right? Absolutely. You got to put your mom's Absolutely. Skin. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, you have, so you have to invest not only financially, but mentally, emotionally. You have to put some skin in the Time. game in order to be successful. Time is definitely a very big one. There's going to be some Absolutely. times and moments Absolutely. where. While everybody's out chilling and doing what they got to do, you're working on your craft. You're actually, you know, making sales calls, doing what you got to do. Mm -hmm. A lot of different things. So you have to put some skin in the game. And that doesn't stop when you become successful. No. Yeah. You still have to put some skin in the game in some way, shape, or form. You're going to have yep. to do it. So yep. lastly, what's, what's, what's the third one? I mean, what's the, the third one you said? The big number three is... Big number three. Number three. The big number three is... They don't want to do the work. Ah. See, this is one of my favorite things. It's not, it's not just going to happen? No, nah, bro. No, nah, I don't. No, no, no. No, no, no. Uh-uh, no. no, no. Okay. My, one, of my, one of my favorite things to talk about is, you know how Mike Tyson said, everybody got a plan until that first hit? <laughs> right? Everybody got a plan. And, 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 Mike, <laughs> and Mike knows. And Mike knows. <laughs> Mike can knock the hell out of people in 3.5 seconds flat. I know because I spent $50 to watch it happen. Yeah. Right? Don't, so, don't, don't, don't go to the vending machine. Don't get nothing when, you, when you're no. at a Tyson play. Right. Mike Tyson has said everybody got a plan until they get hit. It is the same thing with an entrepreneur. Everybody got a plan until they run into that one roadblock. They want to run into that, that first no on a sales call. They run into that first thing that they got to change up. 
They run into the fact that it's not just a cakewalk. They they run into the problem that <laughs> no, John, talent, looks, and intelligence. <laughs> It's yeah, not I was reading, the only, look, yeah, I, I was yeah. reading that comment. He is, but, he is my smart ass colleague, and no, you got to have more than talent, looks, and intelligence. Absolutely, you can't look, just. Let, you, let, let's keep it real. Can we keep it real on here? Yeah, you you have some ugly people that are making a lot of got money a lot of money. Ooh, they and you know what? They got to make a lot of money if they want to get some because they are ugly. <laughs> I'm just saying there are some singers. Mick Jagger would have never gotten laid. That's all I'm saying. So you no, you got to have. You have to have more than talent looking intelligence. You Absolutely. actually have to be able you actually have to be able to take that intelligence and apply it. Let me go ahead and, and throw a little bit of shade right now. So Kanye West said the other day, I mean he's been saying some crazy stuff, but Kanye West said the other day that um um ideas are the new currency. Right? Ideas are the new currency. Mm. And I'm like, ooh, Kanye tried to get deep. Okay, let me go ahead and say that's bullshit. And here's why. Ideas are not the new currency. Because I can take your ideas and I can put them right there on my handy dandy whiteboard. And when my little housekeeper come in on Friday, as she does, and she takes that little she, rag she and she put that little spray wipe them on it, and she right wipes off. off my ideas. <laughs> right? Cause I know, <laughs> so I know on Friday, that all has to be done. That check, she is the biggest motivator of getting my checklist done. Because <laughs> at the end of the day, if, my, if those ideas are on that whiteboard on Friday, they are gone. Period. The end. Ideas are not the new currency. There's hope. Putting, There's hope, Doug. Uh, there is hope for the ugly, yes. <laughs> ideas go into action. When you take an idea and you do something with it, and what you're doing is of value to someone, then it becomes currency. That's right. Yeah, so, so he got he missed, he got he missed like the whole second half of that game. <laughs> like, seriously. <laughs> all right, so say I'm an entrepreneur, right? Yeah. Everybody listening, say I'm an entrepreneur. Um, I have a vision. I have a passion. Um, yeah. Instant gratification. That's not the way that I think. I know I'm going to have to put in the work. I know I'm going to have to put the skin in the game. I'm going to have to put you know my financial resources, my emotional, mental, physical resources in the game, and. I got everything else covered. So what's the solution for so many entrepreneurs that have these three things covered that we're talking about? So mm. what is going to be the solution for them? What is their, what resource can they actually um, turn to that's going to help them become successful entrepreneurs, not only just now, but for years to come? Right. You know, the, the one thing that, that I did, so I ran a business intelligence company for 12 years. That was extremely successful. I've done two other multi-million dollar businesses that have been very successful. So I did one for 250, I did one for 15, I did one for seven, right? And the, the business then, there is a difference between being a contractor and owning a business. A contractor mm -hmm. is a person who gets a contract, they fulfill that contract, they move on to the next contract, they do not have ongoing work with them, they are not going to, they don't have a product that they're selling or, or offloading, there's no way for them to do the work if they're not involved in it. They do not have a way of transferring that information. They are a contractor. They can't transfer their information to anybody else. They have to do it. That's a contractor, right? That is not someone who has a business. So you got to understand that. So the first thing you have to understand is we're talking about building a business. So in order to build a business and for me to do it successfully and for me to help other people do it successfully all the time is I actually created a blueprint. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, you can go and get the blueprint from the book. It costs 20 bucks, right? And the book's probably backwards. But you can go get the book blueprint from the book. Book is 20 bucks. You can grab it on Amazon. I think it's $10 if you get it on Kindle, right? Guess what? If you buy the book and you don't, it ain't going to make me rich. It ain't going to make you broke. I really don't give a damn. But the blueprint is in the book. The, the thing is, is that what I did was I knew that there were entrepreneurs like me that were working for companies. They were killing it every day, and mm -hmm. they weren't they knew they were never going to get rich because you rarely right. get rich working for somebody else. Somebody else is in control of your destiny. And if that's the life that you want, if that's the lifestyle that you want, then great, go for it. But there are people like me who that was not the lifestyle. I wanted to run my own thing. I wanted to be able to say the time that I work the best is at five, six, seven, eight o'clock. That's my greatest start time. And then the next time that I like to get started is like, 
you know, 9, 10, 11 o'clock in the morning, but afternoons I suck. I needed that type of flexibility. Right. And so what I did was I started an academy called the Biz on Fire. If you go to biz-on-fire, Biz on Fire is literally an entrepreneurial training academy that solves a completely different need than any of the others. And I'm, and I'm just going to go ahead and say that it solves a need it is 100% differentiated from the others because I don't give out nuggets. The first no thing nuggets. I do is no nuggets. The first thing you do is you get an education. You have to understand what it really takes to build a business, right? To really go from understanding your focus, understanding your, your finances and how you do that, you know, how you actually make money, understanding how you streamline your operations, understanding your future. You have to be able to put those pieces together. I have right. people on this live stream right now who were not making over six figures when they met me, and now they make in the mid six figures at minimum because they follow the blueprint. So I have people that are on my page on this live stream right now that are go, that's me, because they've done it, right? Awesome. They followed the blueprint. Um, that's number one. Here's number two. Once you get an education, you need that education because you really need to learn to speak the language of an entrepreneur. People don't take the time to teach you that. They don't teach you. That's not speak. being taught. That's not right. Being they don't teach you the language of an entrepreneur. Everybody's saying something different. The first thing you have to do is be able to speak the language of an entrepreneur. And that's the first class that we do. That's the first workshop, the virtual academy. It's an instructor led live, whatever. But then after that, now you understand the language. You understand the blueprint. You're like, oh, I see it. I see all the concepts and theories. I get how all this works together. Then you have to make that decision. Do I want to do this? <laughs> right because you can throw a whole lot of money after a mistake right 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 that we've all you been can there. you can throw a lot of money after a mistake i've done it but then you have to get to the point and say now that i understand it and now that i speak the language is this something that i really want to do right are you in and the first question i ask people i'm like if you're not willing to make an investment in your education if you're not willing to do that then you might as well stop because as an entrepreneur, you're always, always going to have to make an investment in education. And I like what Doug said. Very the true. blueprint is the map to the destination. Exactly. The blueprint is 100% the map to the destination. And so, and basically it's just a map. I'm going to take that back. It is the map. We show you, this is the map. This is how all businesses that have ever been on the planet that were successful have done it. We can show you when businesses have failed where they failed on the blueprint. But then we go a step further and we're going, okay, now that you know where you are and you know where your destination is, right? How do you want to get there? Because the way that you want to get there and the way that I want to get there and the way that John wants to get there and the way that Doug wants to get there are going to be completely different. So then we help you literally plot your journey in that blueprint. And that's the in-person intensive. Then after you plot your journey on the in-person intensive, we go a step further and say, now that you plotted your journey and you're like, you look at it and you go, damn, that's the journey. I'm not telling you that it's going to take three or six or nine months. You plotted your journey. You're like, damn, this that's is going right. to take me six months. Or maybe you plotted yours and somebody else is going to take three. It's somebody different. else is going to take mm -hmm. nine. But it's your journey. So you plot your journey to entrepreneurship on that. Maybe you have a job right now and you're like, you know what, Donna, I was going to quit my job yesterday. I'd, I'd be the first one to tell you. I'm going to tell you this right now. If you have a job, do not quit your job <laughs> and, say, and roll out. I'm going to put up my shingle. Right. You're going to be broke as hell. Do not do that. I, and some people do it because they're like, but it'll put a fire under me. Get your education before you get burned. That's all I'm saying. Get your education first. Learn what it takes. Then put your plan together. Then after you got your thing and you got your plan together, then you can go, okay. Okay, I can see how long it's going to take me to actually make money because that's what we do when we do that second part. We plot mm -hmm. out everything so you'll know this is what you do on day one and the this is what you is do until you la launch. We take you all the way through. And no, John, no, come on. You keep your job. And then <laughs> you cannot sleep on my couch. John is funny. <laughs> John, John is my colleague. He's, he's razzing. He's, he's trolling my freaking Facebook live. Uh... Him, I call him. Um, and then number three, so don't quit your job. So first you have the map. You're like, boom, I got a map. Then the in-person intensive. Now I have my specific journey, how I'm going to get from point A to point B. 
I know how I'm going to get there. I know every dime and nickel and penny is going to cost from the website to the business cards to how I'm going to reach people. You have that. Now you're going, okay, now I'm ready to implement. We actually do a launch pad. We walk you through implementation. We keep you accountable for implementation. And let me tell you, when we see people fail, this is where they're going to fail. They'll go and they'll map it out. People will plan their asses off and won't do anything with it. Not taking any they action. They get scared. They get scared. They get, they get scared. We right. are so good at keeping people from getting scared because we've given them everything they've needed. So That's now important. they have everything in their hand and they have us calling them every week. Right. Okay, these are the three things you're doing this week. These are the four things. Some people only do one or two things a week. Again, because they have jobs, they have families, they can't go and go all in. There are some people that are like, I already have a business, but I'm not making that consistent money. I'm going through this feast and famine crap all the time. So we walk, we walk these people literally through your idea all the way to launch, where you put on your plan. We walk them through that. Then after we walk them through from idea to plan, we go to the next level. Now your business is launched. You know it. When you launch your business, by the way, you know what you are doing on Monday, June 24th. <laughs> like, you know what you're doing on September 9th. You know what you're doing. All, you're like, I know exactly what I'm doing. You know what, how vacation is going to impact your business. Mm -hmm. we, you know exactly what you're doing. And it's not about being busy. It's not about busyness. It's not busyness. It's actually doing business. And that's what we teach people to do. And this was going to make people sick. So John is one of my colleagues, and he's a part of my group. This is where y'all going to get mad at me. Do you know it takes two and a half hours a day now that, I've run, now that I've built my business? It takes two and a half hours a day for me to make my money. That's all I got to do to make money, two and a half hours a day. We actually have a secret on how we make that happen. But once we get you to that point, we then have what we call our luxury all-inclusive retreats. And these are for entrepreneurs who've launched their businesses. And every year they come to our goal setter retreats. This is where you set your goals for the year. Those usually happen in October and November. And then we have our goal getter retreats, which usually happen in like April and May. And those are the ones that help you continue to reach those goals. So we go from goal setting to goal getting. So if you listen to me, we literally talked about how you go from just learning so you actually doing your annual goals every year, right? You're right. Like you're doing your taxes. You're doing your goals. You're like, okay, well, I did 500000 last year, next year. You know, we've had people that started off with us. They did $2 million and then five years ago, and now they did $30 million last year. Right? So we, we're really getting people to that point, and that's what we well, do. We'll we let put, you add up the percentage. What, what did, percentage of increase that is? Well, let's see. It costs less than $7,500 if you went through – no, it costs about $7,500 if you went through the whole thing. They started – they're at $2 million, They got to 30 in five years. I mean, our entrepreneurs have put $750 million into the economy. So we've 700, done – I got to stop you right there. <laughs> through this academy, Donna has helped – Entrepreneurs generate over seven hundred and fifty million dollars in revenue. Yep, yep. That's how much we put in the economy. So, so, so let's really talk about the Power Hour. Let's talk about the Power Hour. We're giving power them all this hour. great value. Let's talk about the Power, power. Hour. So now y'all know why y'all should be entrepreneurs. Some of y'all ain't ready, and that's okay. But if you feel like you're ready, <laughs> if you feel like you're ready, then tomorrow we're actually going to do a Power Hour. Power where I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm going to share with you um, um, part of that blueprint so you can understand what it really takes. It's not the whole blueprint because we don't have that kind of time. But it's, if you have any questions on entrepreneurship, we're going to even answer, ask, answer those questions for you. So we're going to do it for one hour. It's tomorrow. I think we're doing it at 2 o'clock. 2 o'clock. 2 o'clock. We're going to set up an, uh, an evite. So if you're interested, then you have to either DM me or DM me. Miyoko, I always say your name wrong. Miyoko. You and got it. <laughs> I got it. I got it. You know, it says something different in my head if I think about it. And if I don't, it comes right out. Um, but we're going to have a power hour tomorrow. And if you're ugly, then you should <laughs> inbox you should me twice. You should definitely <laughs> inbox. <laughs> you should inbox twice because it's even harder for you to get a job. Um, but it's, it's send me a direct message. Send Miyoko a direct message. Let us know and we'll send you a link 
to the Evite because quite honestly, we're not letting everybody in. That's just how we roll. Yep. Not letting everybody in. No. No, this isn't for everybody. And that's the one thing. It's not. We don't. I don't have time for people who aren't serious. And John, who's giving me shit, can tell you that. Don't have time for everybody. I have time for people who are serious about business and making money and recognizing they got to invest in their own success. And, and if you guys come on, I just want to bring out um, working with Donna. If you guys come on, there's a special, special, something special for you guys just from yours truly that she's going to do expressly for people that just are in my group. For just, it, for just, for, just for me, Yoko. That's it. Just that. for me and you guys. <laughs> That's right. So I will see you guys tomorrow because we actually have a producer who told us that we have five minutes. And I think we went slightly over. That's number one. <laughs> hey, Doug. It is. Thank you. So thank you, Doug. I appreciate that. So see, this I'm telling you, people tell you to work. Um, we have people, we have a producer who's actually sending us text messages and yelling us and telling us to get the hell off of here and go on Instagram <laughs> right now. And she is uh, tired of us. That's what she's doing right now. We got messages that keep popping up. And Jessica, right now, we just stand on right now just to mess with Jessica. <laughs> that's, that's really all we're doing. But she's in the background. Like, she is literally going, I said get off right now. <laughs> Do it now. You need to get off. Oh, man. MT shares something about the audio. Like, she's saying all kinds of notes. She's saying, she's saying all of that. Anyway, you're going to get special stuff tomorrow, but we're not going to tell you what that is. We're going to tell you tomorrow. Yeah, you got to be on okay? tomorrow. Okay? You got to be on tomorrow. So, and we're going to get off because I think Jess is going to shut us down. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you so much. All right. Much. See you later, guys. <laughs> all right. Bye.